Welcome to Mark's Tasty Tom. This week's episode is pre-recorded, uh, so no, we're not live. But without further ado, let's uh, cut up some meat, shall we? Straight away, I've seen some very loose stuff right on the end here. Take it off. It's not muck about. I'm gonna keep a lot of this fat, it's really nice. So let's turn her over. Here we have the silver side. Let's cut that off straight away. Uh, those get put aside. That one will as well. So here we have the, the bottom round, bottom flat, however you want to do it, however you want to say it, whatever you call it. Knives are nice and sharp. So, while it's all attached, I like to take as much off as I can off this side, off that bottom round. Trying to be as precise as I can be. sinew on the top. Right, that one we put to the side. Side as well. Try and get most of that off. And what I will do, just take that whole bottom off there, cut that in a second. See, this animal's been got a bit of uh, scarring as well. This piece that's on the side always like to take off first let's get a nice edge on that might as well just keep going as you've got a nice bottom base there Again, I am varying the thickness of these slices slightly to give me dry, medium and sort of wet biltong. See, now just split your meat, run your fingers down in between scar tissue on that so a nice fit there not too shabby. That piece I cut off the bottom. What I 
I might do is just go cross cut that into two. Right here, we're going to cut this in half as well, give us a bit of a base. I will be making chili bites, so that's where that goes. A bit of a flapper here, what's happening there? Let's incorporate that into one piece. some fatty there. I'm replenishing garlic and chili today as well so this is a fairly lean roast it's got some very thin top on it so a lot of it will be trimmed Pretty decent meat this week. I like it, I like it, I like it. So, first things first, let's trim that off. Trim. Whoa! How's that for a How's that for a lump of meat? That is the whole bottom quarter of the animal. Uh, sort of top top quarter, sorry. So let's just get rid of this loose stuff down there. Oh, I hate this advert. That's what happens when you're listening to Amazon. Get adverts. Don't worry. With the new iPhone 13 Pro on EE, you can film and share from almost anywhere on the UK's best network. Get the new iPhone 13 Pro on EE. The best for network performance verified EE.co.uk slash claims. 94% coverage. Do you have the time to listen to me So this very thin stuff. It's all getting trimmed off. Go in just underneath the skin. Took a bit much off there. Always a nice piece of fat here, so what I quite often do, cut that off, cut it into two. <laughs> Someone will want to eat that. Trust me on that one. So what I'm going to do here as well, is just take out that end piece Clearly because there's some nice fat there. I like it. Let's um, get rid of this. Trim the sinew off. And then cut that silver side off. Nice and cool in here, not like in summer. Whoa, man, I think it was in the 40s in this shit. Way too warm. Today's nice and comfortable. I'm sitting at a, at a comfortably 14 degrees. Cold for some, but 
it's not bad at all it's my preferred temperature for cutting meat yep. I'd have it colder if I could but that will come <laughs> those cold days will come I don't know what's happened here there's a bit of how am I going to do that and it's a little piece here but it's waste not oh man I've taken a bit of meat off with that but it's a little piece goes in it's gonna go in it's gotta go I'm going to separate these muscles. Didn't quite separate it perfectly there, but most of it I did. Oh. And throwing rubbish into my meat pile. What happens when you're not looking at what you're doing? You jot. Right. Let's just trim this edge up here. Again, just very fine. Take off that. Like I said, this is a, a perfect example for a for a lean piece. If you see some fat you want to keep, cut it off with a bit of meat. Alexa, next. Bleed in hell, man. Fan I need to sort out as well. It seems to be catching somewhere. Right, nice lean piece there. Let's leave that on the side. Let's take bits of fat off on the side here. I don't know what's happened here. I don't want to get rid of that because it's nice. Nice bit of fat on there. Let's turn this over. Jean Pedric. Never throw the little pieces away, they'll just go in. <laughs> they kind of almost end up as testers. For me, of course. I can't not test. <laughs> Anything with some fat on goes in the fatty pile. It's got some fat on. What I should do while I'm doing this is cut my strips straight away. It saves me doing it afterwards. There you go, a few, few for chili bites there. Let's take these other pieces that we had earlier, just cut those as well. That way I know it's done. I'm only cutting these in half lengthways. You don't want them too thin. Want something to chew on.
chili bites. Let's turn that over now. three out of that one and that one Keep an eye on the time. I've got to go out to two o'clock. Just four or five minutes. This will be marinated till later this evening and get hung. I've got some drill horse going to be hung as well. So these pieces are all good for. Ooh, we're making these ones thin. What I should be doing is using this one. It cuts it so much cleaner. It's a good load of chili bites right there. Chili and original bites, so. Mm. Boy, here's another good fatty one. That's another good fat one. I'm not gonna film all of them. Uh, still got three after this one, so let's finish on this one because it's then half. I'm halfway. Uh. Look at that! Absolutely beautiful. I won't take any of that off. Just going to clean up this side so all this congealed blood. See, there's always a dent here which makes it a little difficult when you're cutting this strip out because then when I get to there, it leaves that bit out. It's all right, bend your meat. that up nicely there so we take this bit off the top here
and follow that seam all the way down. It's the trick over here is to try and find where the join is at the top. While that's still attached, let's just clean that edge up. Always try to cut away from yourself. And I say that and I always do it towards myself. Got some really nice fatty built on here, so try and utilize as much of it as you can. Obviously the sinew you cannot use. So here we have a piece, we always have that bit of fat on the side there. Take it off with a bit of meat. Got a lovely fatty slice there. So let's turn this over now. Jean Patrick again. See, we have got a little bit of loose skin down here. That little bit off. Again, a few little pieces here as you take that sort of dog leg off. This is not a dog. Do not be confused. As I said, dog leg. <laughs> Look at the fat on this. Beautiful. I'm trying to keep it all together. That one looks like a little bit of a chop. Oh, that is amazing. Let's um just take the bottom edge off this. Give me a little bit more of a flat surface. Some nice marbling as well. Let's turn it back how it was. Now I've got a bit more base. Absolutely beautiful. Use your hand to push up getting a bit of an angle now. See, it's falling. Let's take that off. That's beautiful. Nice. That is beautiful. Very nice. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this now. <clears throat> it's too much angle here, so let's just cut these bits off. Put it on its back. These are now cut into strips. So I'm gonna leave that bit like it is, I think. Yeah. Let's. Mm-hmm. What I do with this, just gonna go all the way down. Taking off a slab of nice and lean, and I'm keeping nice fatty. So now, like this. See what I'm saying? How nice is that gonna be? Beautiful. It's gonna be super tasty. Cut a little bit of rubbish off there. Now we got some lean. Uh, maybe one more out of this end. Is 
This will make nice stuffies. And again, I'm switching blades. Use my very thin filleting knife, cuts through this like a knife, a hot knife through butter. That one I'm just going to go straight down the middle. And that's going to be some really nice stockies there. Probably got enough now to do chili bites. And probably got enough for fatty as well. But I've still got three more to do. Uh, I'm going to take you out of the holder now. Whoa! Drop the phone. Stay safe. Have a good weekend. Uh, don't get into trouble. Don't uh, drink and drive. And uh, tune in again next time. Oh, we're advertising for a certain beverage company. Have a good one, guys. Tune in again next time. Cheers.